Oh, look at that. That looks pretty much exactly like the game. Can we get up a side of, I stuck it here thinking that maybe we could get up this. Is that pos, oh, wait, this does kind of work. Okay, we gotta, we gotta strategically do this. Uh, this thing is so fantastic. I need to almost just sit still that way it doesn't lag and you just kind of take in the glory of this creation. Uh, it's trying to lift itself. It's getting momentum. Front wheel is off the ground. Okay, let's stop lifting here. See if it'll push. That is sweet looking. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today we are back checking out some very awesome viewer creations. As you saw from the intro, we have stuff from the Mario Odyssey. We have this contraption behind me here from a game that makes everybody rage. And we have several other things that we're going to be checking out here today. Now the uh, Micro City will be returning very soon. If you missed the last episode, I'm going to flash it up in the top right corner. We had a battleship and a naval base. So expect to see another one of those here in a couple days, probably right after Christmas. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of a Christmas break. Uh, there will still be videos though. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and check these out. Do be sure to check down in the description for the workshop links to these creations. And if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic on the channel and want to see more of it, Maybe hit that thumbs up button, it helps out my channel, and let's jump right into this. Alright, so we're gonna check out this contraption first. Now this is uh, from a game that has blown up recently, and I could not for the life of me figure out why until I watched it. I never want to play this game. This looks like a rage-inducing game. Uh, this is getting over it with, I think it's Benny Fada or something. <laughs> it's a weird game. It's about a guy in a pot with a pickaxe, and you're supposed to, like, scale your way up these uh, really obscure-looking uh, obstacles. And the thing is, if you fall off it, you're basically back down to square one. And, yeah, I just I can't stand games like it, but I love watching other people play it. So, yeah. Uh, my buddy Durf has created one of these. Uh, let's go down here. Now everybody knows who Durf is. He's the creator of a lot of the mods that you see on the workshop. He also does have a YouTube channel if you want to check that out. Uh, that will be down in the description. But yeah, he sent this over. He's been playing this a lot on his uh, main channel. And yeah, this thing supposedly works. So you've got the little pot here. you got the pickaxe. Uh, it's got controls one through three. I think one spins the pickaxe one way, the other one spins it the other way, and then there's like a little piston or something lodged up, maybe right there, and it can pop you up. So yeah, uh, I thought this might be something we could try multiplayer-wise. I'll have to try this out first to see if it, you know, works, but this could be something fun to do. I mean, not probably not fun, but you know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is gonna be something. Okay, so we hit the, uh, the one key. Alright, so you hold that down, that's a button. Oh! Look at that! That looks pretty much exactly like the game. Can we get up a side of- I stuck it here thinking that maybe we could get up this. Is that pos- oh, Wait, this does kind of work. Okay, we gotta- we gotta strategically do this. Okay, so let's go up. Let's click up, up. Okay, let's go up. <laughs> let's click up. Come on! There we go! There we go! You know what? I already don't like this game. Alright, let's go backwards. So yeah, you can go backwards. It does have like a little, uh, I know in the game you kind of balance yourself on the little pickaxe and if you hit the three key it uh hops it up like that i think it's like that in the game yeah i have a copy of the game i've just never played it i don't intend on playing it i love watching other people play it still uh we're gonna go up this side of the uh, mountain real quick and see if we can get up all right we're gonna try to scale this side here see what type of rage i can get this might be fun to do in a uh, multiplayer if you do like four lanes and get everybody to have their own, I guess probably identical course and see who can get up it first. Oh, 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 oh. Up. Oh, okay, here we go. Hey. Hey, we're doing it. We're doing it. Nope, nope, don't fall down. Okay, hold on. Let's use the, uh, let's use the three key here. Let's go boop. Boop. It's got some sort of, obviously it's got a stabilization in here somewhere, some sort of glitch, uh, because this thing is, yeah, this is not tipping over. And it's working as intended. Uh, I really wish, can I, I can't turn, can I? No, I can't. It's just one way up like the game. Oh boy. Come on. <laughs> yeah, this might be something for the uh, terrain editor. If you get a custom course in with the mountains, obviously this mountain might be, either I just really, I'm probably just bad at this, but I don't know if I can get straight vertical like that. That's, it's, yeah, it's pretty straight up. Uh, let's go this way with it. 
This is almost just entertaining to watch. Just watch how this thing works. <laughs> it's like we've got a scrap mechanic person in a pot with a little pickaxe and he's kind of flying around the map. Yeah, but you can really time this to get more speed. So safer to click down, let off, click down, let off. Uh, constant. I don't like the fastest way is not holding it like that. Because, yeah, you can see where the pickaxe, it'll sometimes miss when you're in air. So it's pretty pointless. You want it to actually dig into the ground. Yeah, that is, uh, that is extremely neat. I actually really like that. I do think you're going to see this again in the future. I'm going to talk to the boys. You might see some uh, multiplayer Monday getting over it. Because, uh, yeah, this is a fantastic... Uh, contraption or maybe Jerf wants to join me one day maybe we'll do something together uh, if he wants to play with these but yeah uh, let's move on to the next creation I I'm thankfully I have my sanity and I'm I didn't get mad there so let's uh let's move on all right so we're gonna go through the woods here I need to find a place to spawn our next creation and I must say I am so sad that I I missed this creation it was sent to me by email and I didn't actually see it until recent. I was like, oh, I, I need to feature this. Now, this thing probably needs to be higher up on the workshop. Uh, it's got about 400 subs right now. But yes, this is the Mario Odyssey. This is by Seaford Cybershot. We've checked out some of his creations before. But this is completely out of vanilla parts. Now, check this out. Now, it's going to lag a little bit. I do warn you. And I hope I can spawn it here. Oh, well, there we go. All right, so... Yeah, if you haven't played the newest Mario game, this game is absolutely fantastic. This is one of the reasons I bought a Switch, was to play this game, and it did not disappoint. Oh, it's a little laggy. So yeah, the Odyssey is uh, basically a big, we'll call it a hat blimp. I think I'm actually on the wrong side of it. Oh, there it is. Okay, here's the front. And he goes to the different worlds. He, it's powered by moons, and that's kind of what fills the blimp at the top. So yeah. Uh, this thing is so fantastic. I need to almost just sit still, that way it doesn't lag, and you can just kind of take in the glory of this creation. Uh, he's done a fantastic job with the vanilla parts here. So yeah, you can walk up here, we're gonna check out the spider web. check this out. Look at all the thrusters. That is a absolute ton of thrusters down there. It's insane. So, let's discover what this thing's all about. Obviously, you have the folding steps. You got the ducks here. Uh, here's the little globe or the map. I'm kind of concerned. Can I click these buttons? Oh, you know, I think a lot of these buttons are these wired. Yeah, these are wired into the seat. There's a button here on the globe. Let me see what that does. Does that like open the top or something? All right, gotta wait for it to pass by. Come on. Eh. Oh, it's not connected. It's just a dead button. Okay. Uh, so you got a little flag here. Let's go around. There's uh, the ducks that come up. The big thrusters, I think, are here on the back. Uh, the detail is just astounding on this. You can even go into the uh, interior here. And this is where uh, Mario and the... Uh, I call him, I always call him the cat person. And his name is Cappy. But uh, yeah, they said here, this is where they travel between worlds. I believe this is the dresser where you can uh, change clothes. And then you got a bunch of little knickknacks that you can collect on the world uh, behind you. So, yeah, you're probably asking yourself, does this thing fly? And yes, yes, it does. All right, so let's hop into here. Now, do keep in mind, I'm not the best flyer, but we're going to give this thing a shot. Okay, that is downward. Okay. Uh, oh, that might be downward. I need to read the instructions on this. Oh, here we go. Ooh, that helped with the lag a little bit, too. Okay, so we are now hovering. So three is hover. Uh, four is to lift. Oh, uh oh, what's wrong with the stairs? Oh, the stairs are on a sensor. They automatically go up. That is so neat. Okay. Oh, it's making like a puffing noise. Yeah, they're blipping. All the, uh, all the thrusters are just blipping on and off. Okay, so let's go with five. Five is carrying us forward. I think. Okay, six is a light. The main light here in the front. And, oh, seven's the door. We can close the door. Question is, I kind of want to get out on this, and I don't know if, is it possible? Okay, there's no WASD controls, so, okay, one and two are turning it. Sweet, okay, let's go. We need to catch a little bit of air here, because we're going to end up in a tree. <laughs> uh, I don't want to do that. Oh, uh, this is intense. This is so cool looking. There we go. You know, I think somebody might have sent me one for the Micro City. Now I really want to look at it, because if it works like this, that would be amazing. Uh, I'm going to attempt to get out. Okay. Oh. Hey. 
Uh-oh. Okay, we're moving a little bit, but not too bad. Let's try to stand out here and give you guys a little bit of a view. Oh, this is cool. Hey. Actually, it really just stabilized right there. It's not... Oh, it actually it's not lagging that bad. Huh. It's cool. We're slowly cruising along here in our Mario Odyssey. I don't know why I call it the Mario Odyssey. It's the name of the game. It's the Odyssey. It's all... That's what this is called. I know I'm gonna make some people mad. Uh, I, I will go ahead and say I'm not like the most hardcore Nintendo people. I had a big gap in between Nintendo consoles, between the N64 and the Switch. Uh, but I'm so glad that I bought that Switch, and yeah, it's got some fantastic games coming out, including this one. But yeah, this is the Odyssey, very fantastic looking creation. Uh, if you want to download this, it'll be down in the description, and we are traveling over a mountain. You know what? Let's go ahead and crash this thing. It's not complete. Komodo flight experience is not complete, unless he crashes it, which... Can we crash this? I don't know, it's kind of... It's really stable. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go, this might kill the game, here we go! Oh! Oh! Hey! I tip my cap to you, sir. Oh boy. How do we get out of this? Oh, we might need to cut this open. Alright, well, that is about it on that creation. <laughs> Let me try to get out of it. Alright, we are ready for our next creation. Now, we're not going to be able to check out everything that I have on the lift here today. You guys actually had quite a bit stacked up for me. Uh, we've got something called the Military Sofa. Now, this intrigues me. Anytime I see something really obscure like this, I've got to check it out. Like last time, I think we checked out a pointing finger that would automatically point at the character as he moved around. So yeah, this is by Nightshade. Uh, it says, Ever had the time when you're chilling on the sofa and a freaking farm bot knocks down your wall? Here's the invention for you. The military sofa comes with dual anti-air cannons. It hovers and it can pursue those pesky farm bots. Okay, so one is hover, two is forward, AD steering, three is the protection <laughs> visor, okay. Uh, four is the cannons. Alright. Uh, here is your standard grade military sofa. I never thought I would say that. What the heck is this? I want this sofa in my house. Uh, that is actually quite amazing looking. Alright, let's hop into it. Uh, okay, there's your hover, AD steering. Okay, probably a suspension glitch. Oh, it's got little stabilizers, uh, little arms that come out on the back to keep you up. Uh, let's go two. That's forward. Three. Oh, there's our protective visor. Don't worry, your buddies, they don't get protective visors. They don't need them. Just the driver. And then four's cannons? Wait, what? Oh! <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so I just noticed something about this strange creation. I was talking about how the backs poke out. Well, there's sensors on the front that actually catch this thing. So, let's see if I can get it to tip forward here. I uh, see those two sensors. It's going to poke out these little pistons. Uh, huh. I can't get it to tip now, can I? Oh, let's turn off the forward thrust. Does that help? Come on. Come on, tip. Battle couch, tip. There it goes. Oh, see him. It just popped us right back up there. That's pretty cool. You know... Yeah, I, I love scrap mechanic creators because there's a lot of times where you, you don't think of something and then somebody comes up with something really obscure. You're like, wow, why hasn't this been done yet? This is amazing. I also noticed there's a lot of buttons on this, but there's not that many buttons mapped. Uh, what's up with that? Hold on, let's, uh, let's disengage that. Uh, oh, okay, there's a couple dead buttons on here. Hey, we're just riding. We're chilling here. We didn't have to control it. We just we just sat here and we chill on our battle couch. This might be uh, something to use for survival because why not? Everybody always needs a high-tech battle couch. You can get your rest in and you can shoot some farm bots. All right, so that's a pretty cool creation. Let's go ahead and put that away. Okay, so for our next creation here, we have the F-15 Eagle. This is by Mr. Wiz. Now, what's special about this? This is a fully vanilla craft. Yeah. Uh, it's got realistic flying, and it's got just one for thrusters and WASD. That's it? Okay. All right, let's check this out. Let's check. Whoa. 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 Wow. That's, uh, that's quite impressive. It's big. Uh, probably, does this look like a one-to-one -one skill, guys? Uh, I got, I always have the people that are really smart when it comes to certain things and if I ask a question like hey does this look one-to-one -one scale I normally get a pretty good answer out of that so 
this is a uh, this is nice looking especially for vanilla parts really creative uh, he's got like the little <laughs> the plant pot right here pipe pieces yeah nice what is actually is that angle oh look at the angles that he's created with the bearings here yeah that's uh like the beam pieces except for their uh yeah they're actually angled and that's actually really impressive wow okay let's uh let's hop into this it's got one button uh okay oh here's my first dilemma is it the front is the pilot or is the back the pilot i thought it was the back and the front was the gunner maybe that's the way it is in helicopters i don't know let's just uh let's delete that let's just try one of these seats out okay oh okay obviously it's this one and oh oh my uh my head's poking out a little bit hopefully we'll be okay all right here we go let's go one all right uh the reason we're in the flat world it says it needs kind of like a runway to take off whoa come on get up nelly come on there it goes oh that was cool that was so epic looking uh oh okay so w and a whoa Okay, so W is down, A is up. Uh, uh oh, oops. Um, I'm assuming A and D turn it. I don't know. Hold on. It says it's, he says it's a little tricky to fly. I know when he sent me the message over. It takes a little bit of practice. Obviously, I don't know if any amount of practice is going to make me be able to fly anything good. That takeoff though was probably one of the most realistic takeoffs that I've seen out of a scrap mechanic creation. It almost felt like we did need the momentum and the upward thrust to get up in the air compared to a lot of things where you just click a button, up thrusters go up and you just hover off the ground. So let's do it again. Let's go boom. Okay, so we're gonna hit the one key and start pulling back a bit. You can see the back. Oh, it's trying to lift itself. It's getting momentum. Front wheel is off the ground. Okay, let's stop lifting here, see if it'll push. That is sweet looking. All right, so let's try to bank here. Whoa, no, no, oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. All right, I'm still trying to figure out the turning here. Uh, is there another, is there another method? Okay, the turning's a little tricky. I'm having some issues there. Hold on, let's get up off the ground again. It's fairly stable though. Uh, come on, lift, lift, lift. Let's go straight vertical real quick. Can it do that? Oh, it can. Oh, we stalled. We stalled. Oh, let's get going forward again. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, there we go. All right, so the banking... Uh, admittedly, the uh, when I go to A and D to turn it, it doesn't seem like it's... It doesn't seem like it really wants to quite go around or rotate the way I need it to. Uh, of course, that could be just all come down to practice. What's the cockpit like? Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no cockpit view. All right, we are doing a big donut here. This is impressive. <laughs> you know, this would be really awesome once Scrap Mechanic does get its uh, weapon systems in. I'm assuming that we're going to be able to attach these to vehicles. So, could you imagine if the at least the parts in the game have destruction physics and uh, maybe attaching like the weapons to an aircraft? You could have full-on dogfights in Scrap Mechanic, which would be absolutely insane. Oh boy. I am uh, so looking forward to that. I'm having so much fun just taking off in this thing. This is this is probably one of the most satisfying creations that I've played with in a while. That's awesome. But yeah, that's probably going to wrap it up for this episode of Viewer Creations here in Scrap Mechanic. Like I said, dude, oh, that's that's an invisible wall. Oh, yep. oh, oops, oops, oh boy. That's, that's weird. You know, I probably should have created some custom terrain for this. Could have created a runway, a flat area on one side, and then had the mountains on the other side. This would be kind of cool to swoop through the mountains. I do want to thank Mr. Wiz for sending this over. If you want to check it out, it's going to be down in the description. I do challenge people to see if you can try to master the flight of this creation. I am going to test uh, this thing a little bit more in my free time, and I, I want to really try to get this uh, get a hold of this thing. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Your Creations. We have more videos coming out very soon. Uh, if you want to send anything to the channel, it's going to be down in the description or I'll flash my email up on screen. Also, you can just join the Discord. We have several of the uh, Viewer Creations tabs there. So if you want to send anything over that way. But yeah, hope you guys have a great day and we will see you guys next time in Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.